Hi, the purpose of this video is to go over how to download and install Kali 2019.1 for VirtualBox, and then also how to overcome or resolve two common errors that occur when starting Kali in VirtualBox. These are two of the most common errors. One of them has to deal with the virtualization settings and the other one with the USB settings. So, so we'll walk through how to fix both of those. So the first thing we want to do is download Kali. So go to Kali.org, click on Downloads, Download Kali Linux. Here we have the images, scroll to the very bottom. We want the 64-bit VBox version. So click on Offensive Security Download Page, scroll down. And this is where a lot of people download the wrong one. Since we're using VirtualBox, even though we clicked on the VBox image, it took us to this page where by default, the VMware images are selected right here. So we do not want that. So click on Kali Linux VirtualBox images, this other tab. And the file we want is the OVA file. So the 64-bit file right here. So go ahead and click on that. It will start the download. And it may take a while to download because you see it's 3.9 gig. Once the download has completed, go ahead and open VirtualBox. I already, I already have several virtual machines here. You may not have any if this is your first one, that's fine. Go to File, Import Appliance, click on the folder icon and browse to the location where you downloaded the OVA file. I know this says open virtualization format or OVF file, but it is fine to import a OVA file as well, which is what you should have downloaded. So mine is on this folder here, VMs. Here it is, Kali Linux 2019.1 VBox AMD64.OVA. Click on open, click on next. Here, the, the, there's several, you can change these settings if you want to, like the amount of RAM, the number of CPUs, or you can change these later. Uh, probably the most important thing to consider changing here is the directory it will install the Kali Linux 2019.1 into. Right now, we're simply importing an OVA file, which is a single file. When this process is finished, it will create a directory. In this directory, for Kali Linux 2019.1, and in that directory will be a configuration file, some cache files, the virtual hard drive, and the virtual memory. Click on import. This will take, it could take uh, 20 minutes, it could take two minutes, it could take an hour, depends on the speed of your system. Also, just one note, if you are running low on hard drive space, you can install the virtual machine on a USB drive. So instead of the D drive here, I could have selected or plugged in a USB drive and selected that drive instead. This has nine minutes, so I'll pause the video. We'll come back when this is closer to being finished. Looks like there's about nine, seven seconds remaining. It's almost done. When this is finished importing, we will go ahead and start it. And this is where we will probably receive a couple errors. So here it is. Click on it. So you should see the little 64 there. It's a 64-bit Kali Linux 2019.1. Up here, we can click on Start. And we'll see what happens. I left a couple of these errors in here intentionally to uh, show you how to overcome them. So here's one of them. Fail to open session for the virtual machine. Click on Details. And it gives you an idea of what the problem is. So implementation of the USB 2.0 controller not found. So typically, this is an e easy fix. But we actually have two problems, as I mentioned here. We have this problem, the virtualization settings, and the USB settings. So really, we can't fix the USB setting problem until we resolve this one first. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So click on settings, click on USB, 
And if you highlight over these little exclamation points, little caution signs, it tells you exactly what the problems are. So we have two problems with this install. The first one right here, USB 2.0 slash 3.0 is currently enabled. However, you have to install basically this extension pack. So that, that one's pretty easily fixed. So we can check or click on the radio, the radio button for USB 1.1. But you notice this OK doesn't turn um, where you can click on it. That's because we still have an error. And if you hover over this error, it tells us what the error is. And this error has to deal with the virtualization technology. The way to fix this is to boot your computer and go into the BIOS and enable this technology. So we'll walk through this in a second. Then when once we fix that, the next step, this error should go away. The next step is to change USB from 2 to 1.1 and that should resolve the issue. So we'll go ahead and restart and boot into the BIOS. Everyone's computer BIOS, every manufacturer, they not everyone, but there's a lot of different ways to get in the BIOS. Some computers are F12, some are F10, some are F2. So I recommend Googling, some of them are delete. I recommend Googling your specific model of computer and how to get in the BIOS. All right, so I have an ASUS here. I held down F2 to get into the BIOS. Once we are in the BIOS, uh, we need to change a couple of parameters for the virtualization. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here at the bottom of my BIOS, and this is gonna be different in your BIOS. I'm gonna go to advanced mode, then up to boot, sorry, to advanced, and you may have to kind of play around or do some research to find out where this is in your BIOS. And you notice there are two, there are really two virtualization settings. Uh, there's the Intel virtualization technology, which needs to be enabled. So we'll go ahead and enable that. There's also this VT, which is virtual, virtualization technology dash D, uh, which is a way for the virtualization machine to directly access uh, it stands for Direct I.O., Directly Access Hardware. So that will help with performance, so I'll go ahead and enable that. Then you want to save, which is F10 on my BIOS. You want to save this um, these settings, so click on F10. Go ahead and click on OK. And when this is done and restarted, we'll go back to Virtual Box and see if it resolves our issue. Okay, we've returned to the computer after changing the BIOS settings. So let's try this again. Open VirtualBox. We'll try to power. I have the Kali Linux 2019.1 selected. Try to start it or power it on. And let's see if we get a different error this time. The only error we should get is the error about the USB. So let's click on Details. So this is the error we saw earlier, but we could not click on OK. So go ahead and click OK here, go to Settings, go to USB, change this to 1.1, and now you notice that error warning went away, and I can click on OK. Now I'll try Start, and this should work. There we go. So that's it. Now you have successfully installed Kali. It's, it's running in VirtualBox. Congratulations. If you have any questions about this process, please leave them beneath the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day.